cold and snowy outside, nothing beats cozying up on the couch to watch a holiday movie. And we're about to learn how to turn an ordinary viewing experience into something truly magical. So here with ideas for creating the perfect Snowden screening is the founder of Entertainment Events and Catering. Sebastian Sentner is here. Welcome to the show. Hey, great to be here. This is so exciting. And you have created a different themed movie night for all three of us. So Absolutely. let's start with the one you chose for yourself. So we did a uh, family movie night for me and I chose the movie Elf. Yes! Great movie, great, no, great movie, but also it appeals, my kids are older now, but they still will literally huddle up on the couch to watch Aww. this with us, because it appeals to everybody. We can even have like our six-year-old niece there, and everybody loves it. I love that. Okay, so obviously great movie, I think for our family as well, but we got to nibble on something while we're watching this movie, so what yes. are we eating? So again, inspired by the film, we created a few different things. Our First of all is our elf popcorn. So if you remember that scene where he's making spaghetti <laughs> and he's adding like maple syrup and chocolate, everything you can imagine, we did the same thing for popcorn. We started with some melted uh, white chocolate, then we did some crumbled Oreos, a little bit of M&Ms, and you name it, they are delicious. What a great There might be, might be a little, little bit of sugar in it. Just a little this bit. So exactly. And then we also did as well, we did our uh, polar mm. ice or our polar um, hot chocolate. So it's like a regular hot chocolate, but we actually use, we use a little bit of almond milk in this. Mm -hmm. As well, we make it a little bit creamier, et cetera. It's a, and we add some vanilla. And then finally, we put the candy cane on the end. But what I always recommend is actually start this way and then you turn it and you can actually melt it oh, in. Oh, come on. And That's now a what it does, idea. adds a bit of cinnamon flavor to it. Oh, Plus, I love that. For the adults, we have a few little toppings, let's say, adult mm. toppings in case uh, you... Your Exactly. Loves it. And what have you brought to include some sort of family fun? So, night? so this it works for adults or kids. But what I find with especially younger kids, it's really hard to keep their attention through a whole movie. They're always sort of up and about. So what we did is we created Elf Bingo. So specifically for this movie, you basically check off the little things as you see them, whether it's you know Santa Claus, the snow globe, a wreath, and as they get through it, maybe you have a prize at the end or something. So something to keep them engaged and just to keep them sitting through the whole movie. Oh, this is them. such a cute idea. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, could do I won. It. I you won. Okay, you won. won. You won. Okay, so this is a great family night in, but why don't we head on over? And if someone wants to create a beautiful romantic Romantic, exactly. Night in That's our next one. For the holidays. All right. So what do we uh, have here? Well, this is something I picked. Oh. <laughs> Some people aren't going to accept my Christmas chosen movie, but I'm going with eyes wide shut. Because nothing what? says holiday romance like Stanley Kubrick! What? Okay. <laughs> Simon and I watch this movie every December, and if you feel that its inclusion in the holiday canon is debatable, consider this. It's under the Yes, It's a Christmas Movie section on Crave. <laughs> so there, it's settled. It's a Christmas movie. But listen, uh, Sebastian, Simon and I watch a lot of movies all all year long. So how do we make this viewing special? Well, first of all, I love the choice. <laughs> it's romantic, it's a little bit sexy too, so we're gonna reflect that, and we're gonna do that in the food and the beverage as well. So first of all, we started with a baked brie, okay? Yes. Again, it's gooey, it's delicious, it's perfect for this time of year, but also it's nice because you can prepare it, bring it out, and you don't have to serve multiple courses. This will definitely fill you up, at least get you started. I love it. Okay, so how are you setting the romantic mood? for your date night. Okay, well, we're doing it a couple of ways. Nothing says romance, like champagne and chocolate fondue, especially when there's only two of you. But, you know, hearing the movie that you and Simon picked, I thought, let's sort of bring it up a notch. Okay. So Melissa has a little something here. Oh, what, this? And we're gonna add some blindfolding to it. Okay. Oh, Jess that. Allen, okay. Do you wanna hold that? So you, hold that? Pretend this is Simon doing this. Oh. Simon, you shaved. Shaved my beard yeah. just for you. Wow. Okay, what's happening next? And next, I think what we're going to do is Simon. Simon is going to feed you a little ladyfinger dipped in chocolate. Oh yes, I am. Do I, oh, do oh, I open? open your mouth? Ooh. It's a little choo-choo train <laughs> coming in. I feel like I should there leave you now. Go. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh huh. It's never a mess. It's really good that we're moving on to our final setup. Yeah, I was feeling uh, a bit uncomfortable. Which is ladies' <laughs> night for Mel. You love a ladies' love night. Love a ladies' and night. And we often do it as hosts. We get all get together and even have a slumber party. So what have you selected for your film? Okay, so for me, it's not so much a movie, as we said at the top. I'm not a huge movie person, but I do love to get together to watch one fun reality show. So here's one uh, that you can watch on a slumber party with all your gals. It is called 
12 Dates of Christmas. Oh my gosh. So it's a reality dating show and it's exactly how it's described. So hopelessly romantic singles must decide whether to commit or walk away forever by the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve. Oh my god. Okay, gosh. like, hello, look at this. It's sexy, it's beautiful. The snow, après ski, uh, hot sold tubs. It. You've sold it. We yes, are watching. all of and it. I feel like you could binge it, but Sebastian, I feel like if we're watching a lot of those episodes, we're gonna need some good snacks. So what 100%, have you 100%. It seems like we're, you're gonna, we're gonna have the temperature is gonna be rising very quickly, <laughs> so we're gonna keep that going. So we got a couple of things. First of all, a girl's dinner. Now, a girl's dinner is sort of a trending topic. It's a little bit, it's basically a charcuterie board but we've added a little bit of sweet to it so we started out with that so we've got a fantastic charcuterie board we've added a little bit of caramel corn some candy cane some mm. other sweets that's what we're going to start with okay and then of course we have to have a cocktail but what we did is we did a non-alcoholic a mocktail and the reason for that is we find that more and more people are looking for interesting yeah. alternatives and there's not a lot of great ones out there so what we like to always do is we always at our events we always like to have a few mocktail options and so basically this is a Thank you. um it's a virgin white russian <gasps> oh nice so, Imagine oh, it's got a little bit of vanilla in there. It's got some coffee in there. So you start with coffee or espresso oh, and you add to it. Wow. Now, if this is a girl's night in, use espresso coffee. You'll be up all night. Right. Or use decaf yep. if you don't want to be up all night. That's smart. That's I very love that. Smart. Thank you because I stopped drinking last September. So this oh, is perfect. Perfect. This Great. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay. So walk us through what else that you have brought to make this an extra special night to remember. Well, I mean, we had the blindfold for the last episode or last segment, so we got to do something here. So what we did is we did little gift packs for all of oh, your girlfriends. Okay. So the idea here is that we'd have some things you can use the night of. So there's some cozy socks in there. There's a scrunchie, because God knows on a girl's night, you know, you're going to lose 15 million scrunchies, so you've got one. <laughs> And then we also have a face mask in there if you decide you want to do a little face mask together and a couple of things to take home. So we have a little bubble bath, uh, we have a makeup remover, the little, uh, I forget what the- The, the gua shu? The, whatever that yeah. thing is called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but things that you can either use together as you guys are watching your very racy TV show or you can take home and do later. I love, love this. These are all fabulous ideas right Thank across you. the board, Sebastian. Perfect. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.